No matter how big your school is, urban, rural, remote, there is a basic need for kids to engage, connect, belong. I'm Stuart McDonald, Superintendent of Schools for the Kodiak Island Borough School District. Kodiak Island is a landmass the size of the state of Connecticut, and we have 2,400 students in 14 schools. Half the schools are not connected by roads. We can only get to each community through small aircraft, so we're highly dependent on our connections through the internet. My name is Kendra Bartz. I am the principal for our rural schools here on Kodiak Island. We have one village on the road system, but the rest of our rural sites are villages that you have to travel to mostly by plane and some by way of water. It does get tricky in the winter, especially when we've got rains and winds and snow. I just try to get out there as much as possible. Since we've gotten a robot, a double robot, in each of the villages, the main way that we have used it up to this point is when people need to get out to the village and connect with someone and are not able to fly or travel that day. I have used it several times to wheel around the school and connect with kids where a normal principal of a building would be able to walk down the hallway. I can't do that in all of my sites every day and so this helps me be able to walk down the hallway and have a little conversation with, with the students that I don't get to see on a daily basis. When you're an island that it's hard to travel around even on the island, how do we access professional development and training for teachers? That trainer can come right in and join a classroom through a virtual presence robot, interact with students, turn with autonomy and see what's going on in the classroom. I am Sally Crosetti and I'm a kindergarten teacher here at Maine Elementary in Kodiak, Alaska. During my small group reading, the reading coach comes and stands by me on the robot <laughs> and helps me with my instruction and also helps me to learn how to question with the kids. The kids don't feel like that person is just somebody on TV far away, that it's somebody that's in their classroom and interacting with them personally. My name is Margaret Coons. I'm a third grade teacher at Maine Elementary School. We have a literacy trainer from San Luis Obispo, California. She drives the robot remotely. She interacts with the kids and with me about the teaching and she coaches us and helps us visualize and verbalize our learning. It's a whole different experience than a telephone call because the virtual presence robot allows everybody to do what they normally do and you get to show up. Double has helped us make that connection. It closes that gap and the kids are able to have opportunities that they wouldn't have had before if a person actually had to fly here and come be in our building. You can get up to a person and, and be more personable than when you're just on a screen. The students love the double. Those subtle social cues create the belonging, create the attachments, enhance the relationships. And that's what kids need. It's almost like you have a second presence <laughs> in that building. And so it's, it's really helped build relationships, I think. This provides a way for anybody to be in our building at any time and provide great instruction.